Hello and welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I bring you my biggest haul to date. If this is the first time <laughs> I really love Winnie the Pooh and that's who on my shirt today. And um, yeah, I used to film a lot of hauls. Then I sort of, I did my big like overseas makeup haul, which to be fair, I still haven't played with a lot of the makeup in that video. And then, um, I don't know, I just started buying a lot of makeup recently and it's all just come in in different spots. I have opened a lot of it just to check that nothing's broken. I have not played with a lot of it. I'm so excited to share it with you today. And I absolutely need your feedback on what you want to see next. So I'm going to start off with some stuff I picked up from Sephora Australia. One of the things is this little mini set of Pat McGrath lips. This is the Pat McGrath mini matte trance. I cracked it open. I got covered in absolute glitter. And they just have these cute little sets here. So it's got three colours. I have tried a few of them out and so far this formula is beautiful. This is Elson. It's really lightweight and it reminds me of like the MAC Powdered Kiss with maybe some more pigment. This is Full Panic Lipstick and this is Obsessed. They are beautiful. I've loved every single one I've worn so far and I definitely recommend. I love buying minis. Minis just make things so much more accessible. I also picked up finally the full size from Bad Girl Bang. If you've been watching my videos, you have seen this pop up. I couldn't resist at all. I needed to play with it. Um, I had the mini of this for a really long time and this is Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, her favorite mascara. And it was just getting a bit old. So I don't want time to try this. This is beautiful. I definitely see exactly what Annette meant. I did also pick up one of the new Cute Beauty Neon palettes. They don't come in the little slide out packets anymore. But this is the Huda Beauty Neon Orange. Um, oh my god. I cannot wait to play with this. The shimmers that I've sort of touched just seem so beautiful. I don't know. They're a bit sheer now like that. They look beautiful in the pan. And I like this because it was a nice mix of orange and pink. Um, let me know if you want to see like three looks on palette with this or just like a first impression or a palette bingo. I need ideas, but there's more palettes coming. Don't you worry. Uh, if you're watching me, you know I picked up the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow. I've seen a lot of people using this. Should I be doing like a 10 looks one palette or like five looks one palette with this? Let me know. I do feel... I don't know, I had a lot of fun comparing this to my Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. And I think that kind of ruined it for me a little bit, but I definitely could do a three looks one palette with it. And I, I, I do like it. From Colourpop, this is an order that I mentioned. Surprisingly, the one I ordered the second day came before this, became before the other one. So I got two boxes. Because I ordered when there was a 30% off sale that was said it was only for six hours and then they had a 30% off sale the next day and the Blue Moon eyeshadow palette came out. So these are the things we have from one of them. I don't know which one this one is. Oh, so this one took the longest to get here, but I have been probably the most excited to get this one because it has the neon shades that I knew. So I picked up some more just empty palettes. I just needed a bit of a collection. You can see I've got like the old Colour put one and I put stickers on it because I'm, I'm 12, but it's getting quite filthy. <laughs> um, so I was keen to try the new ones out and see if they don't get as dirty. I picked up two new uh, cream gel liners. I just wanted to test out the neon ones and then I also needed a replacement for Prance. I know I mentioned this ages ago and someone did ask in the description if the liners are different. And they are creamier. They just go on. So this is crossed. And oh, just for my own amusement, I want to compare it. My comparison shade to this that I have from them is Punch. So Punch is a bit more, this is Punch here, and this is crossed. Punch is a bit more orange yellow. So I'm really excited to have this in my collection. In it goes. I also bought another one of Prance. Prance is the most problematic of my liners that I have from the old collection. 
because it snaps all the time prints so this is my old one of this and it's 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 broken I can still force force use it um, if I'm really desperate but this oh let's swatch the old next to the new oh they have fixed the formula so this is the old formula and the new formula can you hear it see yeah the old formula is just a bit drier and the new one is creamier I didn't know that would I didn't know that could be a thing oh my god the new prance instantly replaces that it's pretty much the same color and I'm in love with that color I did buy this all during their birthday month but they'd run out of the super shock but I got pulled in I'm such a sucker for charities they have that collaboration with that girl who is Starlight Kids uh, make a wish the make a wish foundation and she had her own collection release I just thought it was so lovely and I really like the shade warrior let's put it here from online so I picked up a super shock no I know because like it pulled at my heartstrings it just did I picked up one of the new liquid mattes the ultra matte lips because apparently the formula is different now and I got I think it's gingham Ging, gingham because I was just super curious to try it and I thought this was a nice nude shade to give a whirl so I will be testing that very soon I got a fourth row beauty sample that's their skincare company I think someone mentioned about using an oil cleanser and I realized I had a sample of an oil cleanser around I think I'm in love with oil cleansers but you'll see I can't I can't justify using one at the moment you'll see exactly why soon I did buy a lot of singles and that is to go in the well let's put them in the new in the new color pop eyeshadow palette shall I give swatching a try again let's see so I've got three shades here this is formation bratty and take flight So that's these three down here. They look pretty good so far. Now, um, I thought they'd given them these to me wrong initially. So I like pulled them apart. I was like, oh my God, checked my order. Realized I did order them like this. So only another 50 cents to get them in these cute little mini palettes. I spent longer than I'd like to admit figuring out if my eyeshadows were now stuck in these mini palettes because like, this is almost the stupidest thing I could ever think of doing with my eyeshadows. And I'm curious about the people who, I mean, they are cute though. Look how adorable. <laughs> so I spent so long Googling cause I was trying to figure it out. Cause I was like, oh my God, is this shadow now stuck in here? How do I get it out? It's so smoothly in there. On the back, there's a little pinhole. You can stick a pin in there and it'll come back, come right out. So I was really glad to see that I don't have my pins with me right now. So I won't do it now, but let's go through and uh, show you the shades I picked up. I know these are kind of old news, so I mean, feel free to skip forward. So this is, ooh, seeing stars, keep scrolling, and sad bar. Damn. All right. I am really excited to play with them. But I do find it kind of annoying that, like, they're in the wrong colours. Like, this one should be in the green one. I don't know. This seems to be the official packaging for those shades. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you buy the compacts and, like, what you do with them and how you use them, if this is your jam. Or give me an idea of something I could do with these. Because I will be taking the shadows out so they can go live in their little home in the big palette. Otherwise I just, I will never use them. Let's stay on Colourpop because I can. So this is the order I made the second day. It's made up of a bit more strange things because I was aiming for free shipping. Let's show you the main star of the show. I was really impressed with how they packaged all of this. So much bubble wrap. And this palette is trapped. Oh wait. I feel like I did get it out at least once. Yeah, there we go. I have a blue moon. So let me know which one are we more excited for so far. The neon orange or blue moon from Colourpop Pro 3 looks one palette. 
I don't know, I just, I love blues. I really am excited to play with Moonlight. I don't know, I'm just excited. <laughs> you definitely will see this on my channel. Um, I'm just not sure when. With this order, I decided to buy the smaller empty color pop eyeshadow palette. I'm just finding I've been buying a lot of singles lately and I need more homes for them all. I've got this, they packed this up really strangely. I pulled it apart because I was like, what on earth is in here? And I finally bought something from the villains collection. The fairest of all. Um, I am pretty into Snow White, I have to say. So I have the Evil Queen Super Shock Highlighter. Oh, I remember. Even though it was packed like that, it still got smashed. So I've just pressed it in and that's why you can see my handprint all over it. I don't really care when it happens, so I just let it go. Look at that hole in us. But it is just this one here. Oh, nice, simple, easy shade to wear. And I just, I love the packaging. I've been eyeing off this collection for so long. I figured why not now? Um, I got another of the exact same sample from 4 Fairy Beauty. Let me know if you've tried 4 Fairy Beauty. Is it is it worth trying? I feel like there's so many affordable skincare brands coming out now. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I got a So Juicy because I see everyone obsessed with this and it's in smack dab. I've just see I've seen a lot of people who are like mention these and they love them. So I don't know. Let's just try them. Mm. Oh, that more came out than I thought. At least it tastes okay. A bit minty. It's nice. I'm so excited to finally be putting these away. I've been sitting on these for so long to do this. I got another thing for their birthday, but no free super shock. And then I picked up the Princess Belle. The Princess Belle. I have been eyeing off the ColourPop Disney Designers Collection for ages. And I didn't actually realize they all come like signed by all the princesses, which is just adorable. And once again, I bought a wearable nude. Why well, I think so. But I also do love Beauty and the Beast. That is one of my favorite stories of all time. And my mom is obsessed with Beauty and the Beast. I feel like she probably would like some of this. Maybe I should buy her some for Christmas. She has so obsessed with the Mrs. Teapot. She actually has like a teapot and chip set at home uh, we're not allowed to use it but it's on display <laughs> um and she made me buy it for her when i went to japan when i was like 15 so i love that it's still there and i think it's obviously a movie that we watched a lot together and i just love it so let me know what is your favorite disney movie i've been staring at buying the super beauty hydro liners so much ever since i've been in love with like, blue steel i just want them all but i was like look for save some dollars so i bought a whole heap of the ColourPop pigments i've got can you even see it they're like shiny labels but i have the ram full for you and hundu and what i wanted to do with these is mix them with my inglot duo line and then hopefully have like fun pigments to show you we like to use them as liner was the hopeful thought and i just thought it would be fun i don't know pigments are so messy so I presume I will do a tryout, like I will do a tryout with these soon, just trying them as liner. Let me know if you want to see all three like of my attempts with liner or what you would like me, like you know, what do you do with these? I, I just, I can't swatch them right now because they're, they're so messy. And then we got this new nondescript box. Who's this from? Oh. <laughs> I've got a 4 one palette coming with this, but my Lethal Cosmetics order came in. I uh, can't wait to try more from these guys, but I just, I love their packaging and I love the way it was done. It was beautifully, everything was in there and I love, like you have to see, the way the singles come is just so cute. They come in this, there's a magnetic backing here, so they can't fall out. I feel like I need to demonstrate. So I've just got one of my shades here and this is Petricle. But see, it just fits into the box like that. So easy. And then I just, for me, because I'm lazy, I just popped them like this and caught them carefully. I feel like it is a bit, but as you can see, magnet magic. 
I've bought a lot of singles lately, and this is my favourite singles packaging I've had yet. So what you can do is you can open the back, pop this out and get it, and then it says you found a, you found a secret area. Um, that's all that's on it though. I've looked in there, there's nothing else. I was like, oh, is there something for the secret? No. So you've got two different ways of sort of getting them out. Um, their packaging is impeccable. This beautiful big white box has one item in it. I have already pulled it up, but it was beautifully packaged in there. I just wanted to, all I've done is make sure that they are not broken because it took me so long to collect this haul. I didn't want to have to be like two weeks later and then them being like, why didn't you tell us when you got it? So I feel like Morphe have stepped out of the packaging. Did I even say this was Morphe? I'm sorry. I feel like Morphe have really stepped up the packaging and they have, I don't know why I bought this. I haven't paid $7 for shipping. I think it was 37 Australian. It has one of those, I'm just gonna throw this out right now. But I've now got a rainbow palette from Morphe and you weren't able to use any of the influencer codes on this and all the proceeds for it go towards the Trevor, Trevor Project, which is such a great cause. It is a, suicide hotline for queer youth or queer people and I just think that's such an amazing cause so I was super happy to support them and I was super happy to have this in my collection because I have a problem let's just swatch sexuality look at that pink we can just tuck it down here oh oh I'm here for it but I also thought this could be super cool to do like Morphe verse Inglot on my eyes or do you want me to see me do looks with this palette? Should I do all three looks, one palette? Or like, it's huge. I could do so much with this. And I just, I really liked the cause and I really liked the vibe. I really liked what they were selling. We are nearing the end. All right. This isn't as bad as I was thinking. Um, While I was buying all this, and I wasn't even planning this, but Sugar Pill had a sale. They had buy one, get one free. Hi cutie! And this beautiful tissue paper. So all I've done is check the shades. And I now have my own sugar free, sugar, <laughs> sugar pill pro palette. Um, I already had one shade of theirs, which is kimchi. So I ended up buying six shades because why not? Do we swatch them? I'm like the worst at swatching. Man, they're so big. But this is some sturdy like intensity going on sugar pill cruelty free flame point so i did try and pick up some of their more famous shades because all like to be honest i've been dying to try sugar pills formula for so long a lot of the people that i watched last year they all used to love they all used to love sugar pill and say it was the best formula ever i actually haven't heard much love for sugar pill in a while there was that excitement in January before the, like in December, when they were releasing the new shades. But I feel like I haven't seen much about them. I don't know, am I not watching the people who use them? For some reason these ones were in bubble wrap, I don't know why. So let me know if you know of anyone who's using Sugar Peel a lot. I'm just, I'd like to see some new looks with them. All right, that's what she said my first time. So I have Velocity. I like dry shadow. Very dry. Flame point. I feel like this is one of their like really famous ones. Beautiful. Buttercup. Buttercup cake. These feel weird. They're a, a drier formula than I've ever touched. Let me know. I don't know. I've just had my hands all through the Lethal Cosmetics and my other eyeshadows. But I'd love to know what you think of Sugar Pill. Kiss Kiss. Ooh. Okay. Is this Poison Plum? I was on such a good roll swatching there for a minute. And then Mochi. Mochi. Alright. I'm curious. I don't know. I feel like I have to try them all in my eyes to know. But this one and this one, hmm. So, here I present my first ever Sugar Pill Pro palette. 
I'm very excited to play with this. Let me know if you want to see, like, I was thinking maybe Sugar Pill versus England. As a potential, potential competitor. Maybe. I did have a lot of fun doing that series. And we're on to the final box. Boodilish. So the beautiful Claudia packaged my box. And I love this. And I saw it in some video. They said that so Christopher Christopher J. M. U. A. That these are all of Jeffree Star's tattoos. I was like, I had no idea. Alright, so Beautylish always do amazing packaging. And this box is the same size as what you get for the what do you call it? The lucky bag. With less product in it. So here is the reason that I don't need any more cleansing face things. So I picked up the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I wanted to try this in comparison to the Clinique Cleansing Balm, which I've been using for four or five months now. And this is so much cheaper than it. This is 21 US dollars, so probably about $30. And I think the Clinique one goes to 55 Australian dollars. Ooh, I got a spatula. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know. Have you tried this? Have you been interested? Am I the only one who was like cleansing mom? I must have. Oh, I don't know. And then in this bag, I've opened it to check it. I have two items. Let's start off. I bought the Jeffree Star gloss. Um, Annette from Annette's makeup corner. <laughs> he bought the same shade. I have ice cold, and she has already done 10 looks, one gloss. Do go check out her video. I'll link it down below. And I did feel terrible because Cher, who we recently did a collab with, I'll also link her below. She was gonna buy like the whole collection and I talked her out of it and I was like, no, it's stupid, don't buy any. And then I and then I bought some, didn't I? <laughs> but I just bought one. And I've gotta say, this what what what's going on here is a bit weird. I know I have his lip liner somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Or maybe it's gone missing. Anyway. Should we add it? Mm. I don't want to like ruin. So let's put it on a brush. I don't know, like I mean it's gloss. Why did I buy this? I don't know. I was just curious to be honest. <laughs> um, I'm excited to try it out a bit better. Um, maybe when I don't have so much gloss going on already. And my final purchase I bought. I don't know if you'll be surprised by this or not. I feel like I was surprised because it got me so well. But I got the Julia tan line palette. This thing is way bigger than I thought. I thought it was like a, I thought it was like this size. But it, it's humongous. So this is, I've only ever tried their lip toppers from Julia. I've never had an eyeshadow from them. And I'm just super keen to try it. We've got plastic. Let's get rid of this. And these are the shades. It's got a whoa, that mirror is good. Um, I don't know, I'm excited to play with this. It's got some silly names, uh, vitamin C. How fun is that? Ooh. And limelight. I don't know, some of these shades were just calling to me. So, <laughs> that's all the things I bought. Let me know what you would like to see me play with the most. Um, and if you're a super keen, go back and watch my overseas haul and let me know what you'd like to see me play with the most from that. Potentially. More than this. The Lethal Cosmetics is sorted. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> um, but I'd love to know what you would like to see more of. And like, what what do you think I, like, what do you want to see me do with these products? Because like, I just, I bought so many. Um, please don't add up how much this costs. Uh, and if you do, I'd appreciate not knowing. That would make me happier. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this huge haul of mine. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking by. I did do a video of five things not to, to ask yourself before you buy something. It's definitely something I need to apply to my life <laughs> a bit more. But I'm about to in state of rule, I think. But essentially what I'm going to do soon is stop myself. From, I can't buy any more palettes until I've used all the palettes I have and have opinions on all of them. So, yeah. That's going to be fun. <laughs> um, anyway, let me know what you think of that rule. And if I shouldn't state it, I feel like I need to. Um, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Oh, I also did buy the Glamour Natrix Sandra Rose palette. I'll chuck a picture up here. 
that baby looks beautiful and I cannot wait for my pre-order to come. Um, I am planning to buy the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker collection, like maybe the, the big eyeshadow palette and the small one. I just, it's been so long since I've owned a Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette, like, I still got the Beauty Killer. Um, I do have like an amazing collab I did with Butte Bean, where we did three looks one palette with the Beauty Killer, if you want to go check that out. But I would, I'm just, I'm obsessed with pastels and rainbow pastels, I kind of like the Jawbreaker, it has a... It's exactly what I wanted in the eyeshadow. So buying those and after that potentially the new roll. Let me know what you think. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, you mean the world to me and thank you so much. Um, if you feel like it, I absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing. And welcome to my little world, channel, family. I don't know. I love all of you so much. Anyway, thank you. I appreciate and adore you.